Hello KA and KB. Today we will be learning about an online tool called Padlet. The best way to describe this tool is that it is like a digital piece of paper that you can type on. The best part about it is that you can work on the same digital paper with others even though you aren't in the same place. So even though I am at school and you are at home, we can still work together. So let's get started. You will need to open your web browser. Your computer might have Safari, Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome. Uh, Padlet works on all these web browsers. First, go to the address bar and type in my website's URL, which is davidleeedtech.org. And then press return or enter. And on my website, you will see at the right a button called KAKB. Go ahead and click on that. You'll be required to type in a password. The password is KIS, all lowercase, and then click OK. All right, so here is our digital paper. We will call this our Padlet. So what I want you guys to do for this assignment is to double click anywhere on this Padlet. And here, for the title, you're going to type in your first name, only your first name. I'll type in mine, which is David. And below it, you can click in this tech little text area. Here, I want you to type in a phrase or a sentence about what you have done since we have been away from school. So for example, I can put, went shopping, comma, ate at a seafood restaurant. Or I could change it to a sentence. I went shopping with my wife and ate at a seafood restaurant. Okay, so here we can highlight a word and make it bold. So you can ch make you can make changes to your text. Like that. Also, if you would like, you can click on uh, this webcam icon. It's going to ask you if you want uh, camera and microphone access, and you have to click allow. So go ahead and click allow. So here I am. When you're ready to get your picture taken, go ahead and click on the icon. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to double click. Type in your name, type in a sentence, and if you would like, you can go ahead and take a picture of yourself. That is your assignment. I think this is a great tool because everybody can now add what they did during our uh, extended weekend, and we get to share our experiences. I think that's very awesome. So again, what makes this tool special is that I can work on this Padlet here at school and you guys can access the same Padlet at your house and we can work on this Padlet at the same time. Now if you want to create your own Padlet, I'll go ahead and show you that. This is optional. Only if you have time or would like to learn how to do it. So go ahead and open a new tab and I want you to type in Padlet.com, press return or enter, and you will see this button right here. It says create something. All right, so here is a new Padlet. Since summer vacation starts next week, let's go ahead and brainstorm some things that you might want to do during summer vacation. So for me, I want to definitely visit Disneyland when I go back to California. So you would double click and type in Disneyland. There you go. Another thing I want to do is visit my nephew and also go to the beach. Go to the beach. All right, now you can also customize your Padlet. 
So to do that, you're going to go ahead and click right here, this gear icon. It says modify this padlet. And you're going to choose a portrait, basically a picture that kind of demonstrates what you're talking about here. Since mine's about summer vacation, I will go ahead and choose this one because I will be, I, I will be um, playing outside a lot. You can also title it. So I'm going to put Mr. Lee's summer vacation ideas. There you go. You can also change the wallpaper, which is the background image. Uh, you can just go ahead and select one. Here you go, since I'm a technology teacher. Also, you can change the layout. So right now it's free form, meaning you can place these little text boxes anywhere. Uh, but you can change it to stream. And it's like it says right here, it says posts are placed one below the other. So I'll show you that. There you go. You can also change it to a grid. All right, KA and KB, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm hoping that I'll see you this week. Bye.